All right, I'm going to see how quickly I can make a sticker and show you a bunch of neat tools in Inkscape. I'm going to import an image that I previously downloaded to my computer and always embed these images so that the information about this image is put into your document, not just linked to somewhere else on your computer. In the path menu, there are lots of cool tools. I need trace bitmap for this image. The default is to set it at a brightness cutoff with a threshold of 0.45, where any pixels underneath this threshold will be assigned a white, and anything above that threshold will be assigned black. So as we can see, the image I got there is missing some information and doesn't really look like an olive branch to me so I'm going to select that image again and raise the brightness threshold so that I bring in more of those lighter colors and assign them to black. I can see in the update that I'm bringing in more color and it's getting more resolved. This image never looks exactly like what you're going to make, so you can always go back and redo it if you find that you're getting too much information, but that looks much better to me. So I'm going to delete this, and before I move on, I'm going to show you a couple things in the trace bitmap. Um, for example, this edge detection feature is usually something you don't want to use. So notice how what this does is make a very thin line around the edge of your image, which would be pretty difficult to weed, but a tool you may use eventually. Um, you can also assign, um, you can also trace vectors based on colors and make multiple scans. These are things I usually um, shy students away from, but if you need it for your specific project, these are very powerful tools. For the most part, we use brightness cutoff with a threshold uh, and then manipulate the threshold to bring in more color or remove the color. So let me get out of there and we are going to work with this. So one thing you may find useful is this menu here called the fill and stroke menu, which you can get under the object menu. There it is right there. When you click on that, it'll pop up over here. I often remove the fill on my images and then add the stroke paint. That way you can actually see what the vinyl cutter will cut. So this is a good representation of exactly what cuts are going to be made on the um, on by the vinyl cutter. This little zoom in tool here is useful when you're working with a single image. So that's a lot clearer to me. What I wanted to show you though is how to determine the size of this image. In the object menu there is a tool palette called transform. This transform tool palette allows you to move things to specific positions, scale objects, rotate objects a specific number of degrees, uh, skew objects will kind of italicize your images and I truthfully have no idea what that's for. Um, so scaling, its default is set to percent so that you can make something 50% smaller or 200% larger. Um, but usually you're going to want to change this to a unit that is familiar to you. I'm going to do inches because I, met, I am measured the place that I'm going to put this sticker and it's five inches by five inches. I will, and so right now since I changed it to inches, it's telling me the actual width and height of my image in inches. I'm going to click scale proportionally so that when I change the value of one, it's not going to skew my image or um, change the width relative to the height they will stay proportional. I'm going to change my width to 5 and when I press enter I'll see that the height changes in a corresponding amount. Um, I'm going to press apply and it will make my sticker that actual size. Now when it comes over to sure cuts a lot where we we actually cut the sticker um, it'll be the correct size and so when you fill out the clipboard you for where it says size you would um, want to just say leave it as it is or um, don't change it because you have set the size in Inkscape to be exactly what you want. So what I'm going to do right now is real quickly put some text here and 
I'm going to show you a couple other features here in Inkscape. I've selected my image and my text and I'm now going to go to the Align and Distribute tool palette which also is available under the object um, and I can now center these images on the page which means that they are centered relative to each other. Before I do that I'm actually going to make this much larger. Press Control while I drag that and it will stay proportional. I like that better. All right, so then I select them both and there we go. That actually got skewed, Control-Z. There we go. So now my word olives will be perfectly centered underneath my image. I'm going to go ahead and change this back to having a fill color um, so that I can see what my sticker will actually look like. You also may want to, I find it useful to have a fill color and a stroke color that's different so that you can really see both what your sticker is going to look like and um, what the actual cuts will be. It's a great way for exposing random marks you may have made on your Inkscape document that you're not aware of. Um, and so then lastly, I wanted to, sh I have to take this text and convert it to an actual path. When I hover over it now, I see that the yellow, that the highlighted images come up and when I click on it, I do indeed have vectors. So this guy's ready to, to move to Inkscape and I am done.